Guys, what's going on? This is Roadrunner. Me and uh, Zena. Where'd she go? Oh. Hi, Zena. There you are. Anyways, uh, we're out and about. Uh, just walking on the old rail line. We're heading to gas lights. Go get cans. Because I didn't get to uh, do it yesterday. Uh, shoe, as far as shoestring goes, from what I'm understanding, is that he's supposed to have surgery here soon. But other than that, aside from the pain he has, he's doing pretty good. And I hope it gets better. Uh, I've been trying to kind of fight the urge to leave town. You know, I told I told the Dutchman, the Flying Dutchman, who's last year's Hobo King, I was gonna head out, but you see, the problem is I don't know if I really want to head out. You know, the only I, re I think really the only thing that would really make us leave is if my dad kicked us out, because you see, the problem is and this is my fault, is that with having three dogs. You know, typically I leave the puppies at home, mainly, and I don't like this, but mainly caged up because I'm trying, I'm finding it hard to potty train them. Uh, Avery's getting a lot better with it, but Marmaduke isn't. And again, it's, it's really my fault. So, and that's because, you know, we spent so many years outside, come on Zena, that I really don't know how to potty train a dog when it comes to being in a house. Xena was the only exception because Xena was already potty trained when I got her. Come on, mama. So, I'm really trying to fight the urge to leave. Uh, I'm wearing my Vesma shock, and I or this is the post-World War II version. I ordered the actual World War II version that doesn't have the straps or the outside pouch. And for as old as it is, I was surprised because it's a rare thing to get. I was surprised that it was only like 19.99 on eBay to get. And it's shipping in from Bulgaria. And so it's supposed to be here between December 23rd and uh, January 13th. And I really want to go. I want to go over and do a side by side comparison. And hopefully I can find the uh, Romanian version because it was for sale on eBay but somebody bought it before I could. So right now where we are is um, this right here. This is the loading bay for the chickens for Pilgrim's for, for Pilgrim's Pride, which is now just called Pilgrim's. And uh, they used to have rail service for Pilgrim's, but uh, they stopped that I think about two decades ago. Um, I used to work for them uh, over in the main factory for like a week hanging live chickens and I couldn't handle it because I don't like standing for seven hours of the day doing the same damn thing and I almost peeked on the chickens so yeah that didn't help anyways uh I'm hoping next month I'll get my license maybe February and um I did figure out how to con how to fight back the piss stains and the smells and shit that if I find like a piss stain on the carpet then I get a little bit of uh, baking soda and just pour just a little bit onto where the piss spot is and immediately it takes the piss the piss smell away and the reason for that is because of the fact that the baking soda is a it absor it's an ox oxygen absorber. It takes the oxygen away. So, for example, if you throw baking soda on a small little fire, then that fire goes out because it takes away the oxygen that that fire needs. And with the baking soda sitting on the area where the fire started um, it, it that fire won't start and I've tried that several times I'm probably gonna do a video based on baking soda uh, I guess you could say survival uses or whatever 
I like baking soda. I try to get it whenever possible. I already got two little boxes of it. Tina, let's go. Come on. Hurry up. Here's the loading bay behind me. Uh, the rail line 4 is right down the track. But again, they haven't used it in, I want to say, over two decades now. Because when I moved here, it wasn't even used. I don't know, it just, it makes me depressed and anxious when it comes to trying to figure out what to do. Don't get me wrong, I love being in Lufkin, and I love being on the road, but it's hard for me to try to, uh, try to balance the two. Because, I mean, think it's two different lives, if you ask me, you know. Being on the road, you got a lot more freedom. You can go wherever you want for the most part. You can do whatever you want, again, for the most part. You know, and you have to be lonely because either you have somebody you trust or uh, or you can have your dogs with you like I do. And of course, I always have my friends, Crazy Cooter and Solo Drifter and them with us. Not, not all the times, but at times. Um... But at the same time, if I'm here in Lufkin, you know, I can, it's gonna stop. You know, I can dumpster dive around town, whatever I want. I got a good jungle area I can go to. If if I have if I had to, Zena, back up, truck coming, back up. Thank you. But um, it, it's hard for me to juggle between the two shows. Like doing that, but you know, I'm trying to stick it out as much as possible. You know, I didn't think we really were gonna stay as long as we've had, but it's whatever. Anyways, we're just getting to gaslight. Here's Pilgrim's Pride's loading bay right over there. Uh, the building behind me that's Dunnigan Warehouse, they got their own set of rails over there, and they don't use it either. Uh, this this track is basically abandoned. They abandoned this track uh, about three or four years ago. Um, as you can see right here, you see it uh, right here. They got this mound of dirt and grass covering the track. Zena, get out of the road! And then down the track over here, they also got a bigger mound of dirt and grass and vegetation going through it. They haven't seen we haven't seen a train over here in years. It used to go to a warehouse that is now owned by Berkshire Brothers, but I don't think they're going to use the rail line either because their previous their previous warehouse, which is right next to A&R's office, the tracks there were torn up halfway. So anyways, uh, we're at Gaslight now for the most part, or at least on the edge of it. We're going to go ahead and get some, uh, go get at least one bag of cans and then get the hell out of here cuz i got to work tonight and i got to take a shower cuz i smell like a dumpster already so peace love you shoe string i hope you get better